Right now we're reducing, um, focusing on reducing NOx emissions and then the next level we'll look at focusing PM emissions with Tier 4 final. So I think even if the EPA didn't mandate that, you know, engine manufacturers start making their engines cleaner, it would have probably happened anyways, but probably in a slower process. Um, I think the, the hard part probably comes in is that with these timelines and the deadlines that are put into place by EPA, engine manufacturers are required to meet these deadlines faster and they're required to spend more, probably put more investment, more research and development, probably rather than they would if they would have done it at a slower pace. So that's kind of with the EPA focusing and mandating these deadlines, it's kind of, you know, made engine manufacturers invest a lot more money a lot more quickly. Technologies that they're using for the initial step for Tier 4 interim, there's basically Two, two different thoughts going on um, throughout the egg industry. Some manufacturers, like Case, are looking to use SCR, Selective Catalytic Reduction, to reduce emissions. And um, that uses diesel exhaust fluid to, it's kind of injected into the exhaust stream. And I don't want to say like magically, but basically a chemical reaction happens that changes the exhaust that comes out of the engine. So you're no longer getting the harmful emissions coming out of the engines. Other manufacturers, such as like John Deere, are choosing to use um, EGR and exhaust gas recirculation. And that uses the exhaust that comes out of the engine. It's recirculated through the engine and through that process they're able to reduce um, exhaust emissions as well. And all signs at this point, although um, Tier 4 final is until a couple years down the road in 2014, um, but all signs are pointing to that SCR is going to be what most manufacturers are going to have to use to meet the Tier 4 final emissions. The other thing that's going to be a big change for the farmer for the first time is that they're with the emissions change, this is the first time that they're actually going to have to do something. It's actually going to be a visible change to them and it's actually going to affect them. With Tier 3, it was, it was seamless, you know, they didn't, they didn't really know anything changed. But now, they have to physically either put diesel exhaust fluid in the tractor or they're going to have to clean an after treatment system and there's going to be additional maintenance. So. But this is the first time that we're really seeing that, you know, a farmer has to do, do something, physically do something different because of an emission change. We're seeing a lot of um, talk that the next step is going to look at CO2 emissions and reducing those emissions. So right now, it, it's an open book. We don't know what's, what's going to happen, but there is speculation that the next round will look at reducing CO2 emissions. And I kind of suspect, too, that we'll kind of follow the steps of Europe and we'll, there'll be more concentration and more focus on reducing noise and also um, reducing vibration and those kind of things that would affect the operator.